Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Doing the rear brakes on the Volvo 850, probably the easiest brakes I've ever done in my life. Uh, what you do is you drive out these two pins, put something in there, compress the caliper a little bit, and then you slide the pads out after you pull out that metal shim. So let's go ahead and do one real quick. These are the tools I use to do the rear brakes. I got the grease, Phillips screwdriver, regular screwdriver, <clears throat> C-clamp, hammer, needle nose pliers, 14, 15 box in wrenches, pair of gloves, torque wrench, and of course brake parts cleaner. Then if you're going to take that uh, rotor off, you'll need a, a deep 10 millimeter socket. So after I get the wheel off, I go ahead and get something and tap these pins level on both upper and lower pin here. And that gets those pins to start coming out the back side. So what you need to do is drive these pins a little bit more out the back side here and the one down below right here. So a lot of times I'll take a Phillips and drive them in a little bit to get them to come through. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I got the Phillips punched in. And as you can see, the pins are out the back side. So I'm going to pull them out with some needle nose pliers. When I pull those pins out, this thing falls out as well. That little retaining clip. So now, I want to take something and pry in between the uh, caliper and the rotor just to make sure the pad is loose enough to come out but as you can see the pads already loose enough to come out so I pull up the inner and the outer pad out so let me go ahead and get those pads out now that I get the pads out I want to inspect the boots on the caliper make sure they're intact and I want to put something in there and, and uh, like a clamp and compress the piston in on both sides. The rear has the pistons on both sides. I think these are ATE calipers. If they're not this kind, they're the same as the front. And the front procedures will get these things out. So go ahead. I would break loose the bleeder nut and compress the pistons in so I could get the new pads in there. Now you don't want to pry on those pistons with anything against the rotors because you don't want to bend or warp your rotors. Now on these rear pads, as you can see, they have this little metal thing on there and those are normally shims, shim uh, squeal pads. So you want to take these, if the new pads don't come with them, and lubricate them with the brake grease so to help reduce the chances of them squealing and as you can see these pads are in good shape I wouldn't uh, consider replacing these pads until this groove is worn all the way down on them so that's the wear groove on the rear brake pads so go ahead and lubricate those shim pads on both sides and slide the pads back in okay once you get the new pads in place you want to go ahead and set that retainer up there and push the pin through to hold that in place then take the top one and do the same thing and you push that in while you put the top one in place once you get those pins in place like that go ahead and tap them the rest of the way in and lock them in place now I normally do grease these pins the, the shank part of them, but not the very tips of them because you don't want the tips of them sliding back out. So you got the pins tapped in. You want to go ahead and bleed this brake, and you're all done. Now these rotors are also held on by a retaining pin, which is missing here. So if for some reason you need to replace the rotors or get to the drum brakes, 
and work on the drum brakes behind there, you'll have to pull the entire caliper off, which should be two 14 or 15 millimeter bolts back here. So you find the, the mounting bolts on the back of the caliper, pull them off. You got one here and one up top a little bit. Pull those two bolts out and pull the whole caliper away from the rotor and then you can pull the rotor off and work on the drum brakes or just replace the rotor. Now, when you're putting the tire back on or the wheel back on, this pin goes in a certain position on the inside of your wheel assembly. So when you flip your wheel over and look at the inside, normally Volvo wheels have four pins sticking out that fall in these other locations and then where this pin falls, there's not a pin in the inside of that wheel. So whenever you got your car somewhere and, you, and they're putting, taking wheels off and putting them back on, you might want to mention to them that that pin drops in that void area in the wheel. I've had um, mechanics take those uh, wheels and force them on. The pin cut into the wheel, warped the rotor, damaged the wheel. Drive down the highway five minutes later, I can't even get the car to ride smooth because it's been damaged because somebody didn't put the wheel on right with that pin there. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here, and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.